Hello everybody, welcome to another Valheim video. Today we're going to be learning about how or if things respawn in Valheim. So what do I mean by respawn? Well, I'm talking about stuff like goblin villages that you've killed all the goblins in, and you've looted all the chests. Or maybe not goblin villages. Structures you can explore and loot the chest. Well, what happens if you've been playing on the world for a while? All the stuff's here, it's looted, it's gone. And that means all the circling cores, which are a huge part of the beginning, right? You gotta get the cores to smelt anything and make any coal. It's gonna make it way harder for beginning players. There is no respawning. Once you loot the stuff in a dungeon or a location like that tower, it's gone forever. That chest will stay empty. Those monsters will never come back. Locations have no respawning system in Valheim as of me making this video, which can be a huge letdown sometimes. But don't worry, because as with everything Valheim related, there's always another option. That's where this upgrade world mod comes in. But wait, Xbox players, don't X out, because I know I'm talking about a mod, but this is relevant to you, because you don't need the mod to play on the world. You just need the mod on a computer with Valheim to modify the world, and then you can put it back and then play on it on the Xbox without the mod. So if you want to actually respawn stuff, this is how you do it. This mod's awesome. I can literally show you its magic. As you can see, we're right outside of a location. This location is one of the crypts. It's called Crypt 2. So all we have to do now is click enter. Before it runs, it'll ask you, do you want to do this? Press type start or stop. So we're going to type start. Boom, look at that. It immediately reset right in front of us and it reset 23 other locations. This works for all spawned locations in the game. So the main caveat here, the easiest way to understand that is that it doesn't respawn minerals. You can't use this mod, as far as I know, to respawn copper nodes where there was one before. And now you might ask, but what if you have built into one of these locations, what's going to happen? Anything you want to just be ignored from this reset, you just have to place a workbench near it. Another cool part of this mod is you can use it to re-roll chests. I showed you how to totally reset the location, which will also reset the chests. Here's a regular mountain chest, right? Cool loot, no onions, still pretty good though. I just emptied it. That's gone forever, normally. But with this mod, I can run a specific command. It's chests reset, and then the object, which is treasure chest underscore mountains, and then a parameter looted. Because if we just run this, then what we're gonna do is re-roll all of the existing chests that haven't been looted. So the one that got looted will stay the same. So it's important that you write looted afterwards. Otherwise, this won't work. So we run the command, and then you can see that two chests got reset. And if we run forward here, and boom, look at that. It got re-rolled, there's more obsidian and coins. So you can use this mod to re-roll chests that have already been looted, or to re-roll chests that haven't been looted yet. This mod is honestly way more than I can just put in a video. So this is just a short sort of explanation of how you can use this mod. Now, when you're working with this mod, it might be a bit of a struggle for you to get the locations right, because there's actually a lot of different locations in Valheim. So the easiest way for you to deal with it is to go to this Valheim modding GitHub Jotun data zones thing. Just, you can use this link here. This is a list of all of the locations that Valheim can spawn. Using this, you'll be able to pinpoint exactly what location you want to reset. Treasure chests are interesting because they're sort of a location within a location. So it could be a plains chest, it could be a meadows chest, a mountains chest, etc., etc., etc. You can reset every chest in the game and it won't do anything to the chest that you've constructed because those are separate. They're not treasure chests, they're player built chests. 
So by using these three things, the mod, the documentation that shows you how to use it, and the list of locations, you'll be able to solve any problem that you encounter in Valheim. You'll be able to reset and respawn all the dungeons. And this is a great way to add some life to your server if that's something that you're doing. That's it for this video, everybody. If you want to support my work, then consider renting your own dedicated Valheim server using my tutorial. This is a great way to play Valheim with your friends. If there's a group of people who you like to play Valheim with and you've been considering playing it for a while, but you haven't gotten into it, Hilda's Request is a great way to re-experience Valheim because it gives you a lot more control over what you like about the game. Do you want to have a run where you can take metal through portals? Well, with Hilda's Request, you can do that if you want. That's fine. You can eliminate all the restrictions on items. And I hope that my videos are able to help you enjoy because it really is a beautiful game and I want to be able to make content that helps people enjoy the game more, you know? Because Valheim's so awesome and it's so creative and it is the kind of game that you can play and it can teach you that you can do things you, you didn't even think you could, you know? You can build things that, that are really cool that you thought you can't do that kind of thing, but Valheim gives you a means to practice and learn and get better. And it's beautiful, really, really beautiful. And with that, I'll end the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!